So, you worked all day on this monkey head, and when you import it into Roblox, it's huge. It's huge. 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 Alright, so I'll show you how to get perfectly sized objects exported from Blender and into Roblox Studio. Um, we're going to use the default cube as an example. I'm changing it to 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter for this uh, tutorial. And what will happen is um, you can see that the units are set to metric and it's in meters. So when I export this one meter cube um, FBX object, you set the scale to 0 0.01. So that's really the only thing you have to know. And then you also have selected objects if you want to export your selected object. So now we're in Roblox Studio. We import our 3D object, select the default cube. So we just, we will leave this all the same like it is. So now when it comes in, it is a perfect one stud by one stud by one stud cube. And you can see I have a snapping turned on, so it's snapping to every stud. Uh, and just to show you that it is actually one stud by one stud by one stud, I will add a part and then we will change that to one comma one comma one, which is one by one by one. So you could see they're, they're twins. All right, now I'm going to show you um, what I use for scale. Um, I noticed that like a default character in Roblox is, looks like it's about five and a half studs tall. So knowing that, um, I made this cube five and a half meters tall, because if every meter is a stud, that kind of gives you the scale. So I'm, I'm just speeding through this. So I'm basically making a real quick wall, and I'm going to do a couple loop cuts, and then I'm going to delete... Uh, these polygons and make pretty much a doorway and then I'll use uh, bridge ed edge loops to get the inside faces there. So now I'm going to select that, export it, I'm going to call it wall, test one, and then uh, selected objects is still checked off and I set it to the scale is 0 0.01 still. So now we're back in Roblox Studio do the same thing we did before, import 3D object, select the wall, and then just leave that the same. Now we have our object, and when it imports, it actually makes an object out of it. So there's a wall test object, and inside of that is the mesh object, which is up there. So now um, I'm gonna set it to anchored so it doesn't fall over. And here is kind of important. This is the collision. So I'm setting it to that. Um, so that way your character can actually walk through the hole in the wall. If you don't do that, um, it will think it's a solid. If you set it to box, for instance, the collision, it will not detect the hole in the wall. And there you go. It's a perfectly sized doorway for your um, Roblox character. Thanks for watching.